Excellent. So, yeah. How are you? Great. It's just very exciting, and Good. we're so thrilled to be among such amazing photographers. Aren't people. they amazing? Uh, this young lady from the UK was showing her work. I, I can't oh. remember her name. I, I'm just blown away. Christy I mean, Mitchell and. I mean, they're all phenomenal. Uh, no, aren't she's they? in a league of her own. Oh. I mean, I can't, I can't believe it. So it's it's really a wonderful honor to be even considered for the framed awards, much less to surprisingly win as the best film lab. So. Uh, well, you obviously have people out there that adore what you guys do, and. We're just facilitating, and, and obviously you guys have a lot of fans and, and love your work and your quality of work, so we're honored to have you here. Uh, we, we appreciate it, and it's, uh, again, I'm, I'm almost speechless because uh, we, we didn't really expect to win. We had no expectations, <laughs> and then meeting the people and seeing the... Uh, the youth and vitality of this particular field and market is very refreshing. Uh, a lot of our old guy, you know, old school guys, and you know, people winding down their businesses, and we, we see this this influx of youth and the energy and creativity, and it's just stunning. I'm so glad. Tell us about your business. Well, we're a uh, traditional film lab, and that's really our, that's our roots, going back from my father to me to the darkroom. Uh, Excellent. We uh, really started doing a lot of work for camera stores uh, throughout the West, and that was our base of business. And in the last two years, developed the darkroom.com as a resource for people across the nation and internationally to be able to get precise quality film developing done of all types and stripes. Wow. Uh, E6, C41, and true black and white uh, dip and dunk uh, from 110 size to 8x10 sheet film. So, uh, well, and, and what's cool about you guys is that you guys are a resource. You guys really try to help educate, don't you? Well, we do, and we're all film shooters, and we love the uh, just the the beauty of film, the tactile part, the uh, the planning, the, the film selection, the uh, in addition to the results we get. And, and I talked with some of the other nominees for Film Lab, and it's, we're all agreeing, nodding our heads. Oh yeah, you know, most digital stuff we spot a mile away, and yeah. this this dry lab inkjet stuff, you know, <laughs> it, you know, we we are pretty traditional in, in what we do. And, Amazing. Uh, it's 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 very fun, very rewarding, and uh, really a pleasure to be affiliated and associated with the Frame Network. Thank you, thank you so much. Well, let me do my formality real fast um, on behalf of F Network and the Framed Awards Committee, White House Custom Color, and Flern. Uh, we would love to honor you tonight as the top voted film processing lab of 2012. Well, thank you very much. There it is. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much. Thank it's an you honor very to meet much. You. It's an honor to meet you. Congratulations. Too. Okay, thanks again. <laughs> Can I get a picture with you? Absolutely. My name is Amber Conger and I'm a metal sculptor. I build everything from jewelry to trophies to monumental scale public art. Someone from the, the Frame Network contacted me about doing custom trophies for the upcoming F Awards and I said, yeah, of course, I'd, I'd love to make something really cool for you guys. Well, yeah, we, we did start out with the idea of the camera lenses and um, antique parts and stuff like that, but when the numbers kept climbing, um, it became pretty clear that we couldn't do that. That was going to be way too time consuming. So basically I wanted to create something that looked really cool, but that we could cut from one single piece. Um, so I liked the idea of actually making a frame for the framed awards. Well, it started with a, a messy sketch of mine and I gave it to my drafter um, and he put the design into the computer. Um, then we take that to a fabrication shop and they actually cut the flat pieces um, by a computer-aided plasma cutter. Um, and then they stick it in a machine that makes the bend. It's really quick and easy. Um, and then they give them back to me and I get to do all the cleanup work and the polish and put the plaques on. 
when when I got into metal work, um, I already had a small business for faux finishing and, and whatnot. That's what I did before. And when I made the leap over into sculpture and whatnot, I wanted to kind of start over. So I wanted I wanted a new name, um, kind of a new brand, I guess, to start with. And it probably took me a year of <laughs> of thinking about it and mulling it over and, and whatnot to come up with the right name. And um, the refinery thing basically comes from the thought of oil refineries, factories, industrial scale, um, manufacturing, stuff like that. For some reason, those sorts of um, buildings, silhouettes, they, they really appeal to me. And I also like the idea that, you know, I'm, I'm taking things and maybe they're things from the scrapyard or things that somebody else threw away and I put a new, well, I, re I refine them into something else. When the Frame Network approached me to make custom awards, I was really, really excited. And I wanted to create something really, really special that reflects the creativity and the individuality of the photographers that will be taking these awards home. Um, and, and I think we accomplished that. I'm really excited about what we came up with and, and I hope they'll be excited to, to take them home.